Hi everyone, welcome to chendu.org. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about dynamic report filters in pivot tables. Let me show the demo first and then we can learn how this technique is achieved. So here we have a pivot chart that shows the total sales by salesman and product. So we have four salespersons, Joseph, Lawrence, Maria and Matt. And they all sell three different products, fast car, rapid chewer, super cool. So we are showing this summary for the middle region currently. But I can switch this region to north or west. And dynamically this chart gets refreshed. This chart itself is a pivot chart as you can see here in the pivot chart tools and the pivot table field list that comes here. But the beauty is we are controlling it through a drop down list like this so that it is it feels much more natural and also it looks quite uh, powerful and insightful. So let me uh, go ahead and demonstrate this to you how uh, this particular technique is done. What we are doing is when you look at the code you might be totally stumped because the entire code behind this thing is just one line. That's right, just one line. What I have here is a couple of things going on. First is if you select this uh, drop down box uh, which is inserted through a form control it is actually filling the cell d3 so if i look whatever whenever i change the value d3 gets updated let me demonstrate that by moving this a little bit here and we change actually d3 is containing the number one right now so select it again it's two i have made it uh, i have formatted it in such a way that the number will not look uh, be shown here but you can see that the d3 is containing these values one two or three based on that what we are doing is a little down here i am fetching the corresponding region so this is the list of regions out of which the second one is not so this is what we are getting here and look at the name here for this cell i have given a name SEL region now it is not necessary to name this but i have created a name because it will be easier it looks a little more elegant in the code isn't it the chart title itself is dynamically generated from this so this is the text and for the chart title we are pointing it to that cell c37 so it gets the value from c37 anyhow so cell region is this and now let me go to the pivot table here this is the pivot table from which we are creating the chart so i have updated that the if i select this also you can see it clearly that it refers to the pivot table worksheet so we go to pivot table sheet and this is the cell which is having the report filter now if you look at carefully here you will realize that this particular cell also has a name it says a filter region meaning filter of region now let's go to the vba code that so what we are doing is whenever i change this drop down i have assigned it to a macro called update pivot can see that update pivot so the update pivot macro let me just go drag it inside which is in the module one update pivot all it does is it takes the uh, value in SEL region and puts it into a filter region that's all right? whatever is the region that you have selected be it middle north or west we are just asking Excel take that value from here and just put it here that's all that's it so you don't really have to update anything as such all you have to do is by uh, tell, it, tell excel to take the value of the filter value that you want and put it in this cell here in the c2 so i could come here and type middle and the report gets changed for middle i don't really have to use this drop down or anything of course this is now totally wrong we can fix it okay so i hope you understand that little technique here i have a little more surprise for you what i have done is i have created a dynamic description for the chart also so if you have downloaded the file you can click on this little box here how does this chart work and you can see the whole logic break, broken down essentially what we are doing is whenever you change this this list shows these values and this list we have these values and when you change the list we run a macro update pivot that takes the new region and puts it in the report filter in pivot table C2. Pivot table C2 being that cell, C2. 
into each other. So that's how this chart works. You can collapse this, expand this. It's a pretty powerful way to uh, do dynamic charts using already available features of pivot chart and pivot tables and then combine it with simple one or two layer macro codes like this. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and if you want to learn more visit chendu.org and if you would like to learn a little more about pivot tables then I encourage you to join my excel school program because we have a lot of awesome content on pivot tables including a one hour long guest lecture by Deborah. Uh, from contextures.com. She has authored a lot of books on pivot tables and she has been a Microsoft MV for, MVP for the last several years, I believe. So it is a good program and if it can help you learn pivot tables and a lot of charting techniques, a little bit of macros, this, that, and of course dashboards. So go ahead and join the program if you wish to, if you wish to learn more. Otherwise, just go ahead and play with this file and learn a little more. There are some other examples here on the report filters which I have shared last week with you already. So I'm just going to focus here on this sheet. Thank you very much for your time and attention. I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.